This is the back of our case and the back of our power supply. The first thing I want to point out on the back of this power supply is this switch right here. It chooses between 115 volt and 230 volt input. That's the voltage coming in through this power connector. Now in the United States, you're going to want that switch to set to 115. Now this power supply has got a main power switch on the back. I like using power supplies that have the switch on the back. Um, matter of fact, I make it a point to not use power supplies that don't have the switch on the back. Um, this switch is simply on for on, off for off. Now when you switch this on, your whole machine should not turn on. This is just master power, or essentially power going to the power supply. I like it because when it's off, you know it's off, and it's not going to fire up all by itself. Now you're saying, well, John, if you don't want it to fire up all by itself, you shouldn't have the machine plugged in. Ah, actually, you want the machine plugged in because otherwise the chassis is not grounded. Something like a wrist strap, like the one right here, isn't going to help you much any if you have it clipped to a case that's not grounded. What's it grounded to? You're grounded to the case, but the case isn't grounded to anything. So you actually should have your case plugged in. That way the earth ground on the power connector is hooked up to the earth ground of your house, but the power switch is in the off position, so the machine's not going to fire up. Now the chassis is truly grounded, and because you're a static wrist strap here, you're grounded. Now if you don't have a, a static wrist strap, that's no big deal. Basically, what you try to do is keep your hand on the case whenever you're working inside the case. If you can keep one hand on the chassis at all times, you will be grounded of course, as long as your power supply is grounded through an earth ground. The power supply is unplugged, case isn't grounded.